What is going on, guys? Welcome back to Creep the Jeep. Are you guys ready for another awesome commentary? Well, apparently you are because you clicked on this video. So anyways, uh, playing a little bit of Crisis 2, and I actually had the opportunity to play with YouTube's famous commentator, uh, Only Use Me Blade. So, uh, you know, it was it was definitely a very cool opportunity to play with this guy because he's very good at what he does. And if you guys aren't familiar with what he does, well, his username should just kind of give it away. Only use me blade. That's all he uses. And in, in this game, um, the blade is not really something that is featured in this game. So he just uses the melee attack. So, like, he'll hit you with the butt of the gun and uh, he doesn't fire any weapons. He doesn't use any explosives. It is all melee attacks only, and I think that is what makes him so unique and just so cool to watch, you know? So I'm definitely going to link him in the description, youtube.com slash onlyusemeblade. Go give him a check out. Go give him a check out. That's weird. What, is he working at a supermarket? No, yeah, go and check him out. Subscribe if you like, and I know you will. So uh, on to this commentary. So uh, here in Crisis 2, I've never actually played the original Crisis, and uh, like me... I think like I've said in uh, previous commentaries, I've pretty much, you know, I'm pretty much very new to the uh, the first person shooter thing on Xbox. I mean, I've only really been playing since the release of Black Ops in early November. So, <clears throat> um, you know, my my basic like review of Crisis 2 is the graphics phenomenal. You can honestly see that the game developers put a lot of work into this video, just uh, into not the video, into the game because I mean, just look at the graphics. Everything is just so very fine detailed. It's supposed to be a futuristic New York that went like under some sort of attack or like, I guess, like post-apocalyptic sort of deal. Um, like I've said in other videos on my uh, other accounts and stuff, I do not play campaign on any video game because I'm just... I just don't want to play single player. I don't really care about the story. I'm just all about, you know, the run and gun, spray and pray, you know. I just like to go and have fun with it, you know, as, as fast as possible. And um, I guess that's sometimes a bit of a downfall because I don't really learn the backstory to the game. And, you know, I might not be too good at the uh, the controls right away. But, you know, you pick up after a while. So, you know, as you can see here, I really don't know what the hell I'm doing. I'm just kind of wandering around the map, just doing my own thing. And, I mean, I guess that's okay. You know, I mean, it's, you know, it, it was just for fun. I mean, even uh, Only Use Me Blade, you know, he uh, he was still kind of, you know, uh, feeling out the game himself, you know. Uh, he was definitely doing better than me, uh, and that's for sure. But, um, you know, my biggest problem is I've gotten so comfortable with Call of Duty Black Ops. I've gotten so comfortable with that and Modern Warfare 2 um, so that I compare every other first-person shooter that I get to that. You know, I always compare it to Call of Duty. And, you know, like even Only Use Me Blade, he was telling me last night, he was like, he's like, dude, you know, don't compare it because it's a totally different thing. It's like apples and oranges, to you know, they're both fruit. But they're two totally different tasting fruits, you know what I mean? I don't know why I'm talking about fruits. Maybe it's just because, uh, you know, I'm, I'm, you know, I'm hungry, I guess. I, I don't know. But anyway, <laughs> um, yeah, so, I mean, it, it's definitely not something you want to compare. I mean, like, I, for instance, I started playing a little bit of Killzone 3. And, you know, in all honesty, I couldn't get into it. And the controls were so different, especially that it was on the PlayStation 3. The controls were so different... I, I just couldn't get myself into the game, you know, I, I just couldn't get into it, and it's, I would say it's similar to Crisis 2, but if I, if I had to pick one over the other, I would definitely play Crisis 2 over Killzone, that's just personally me, that's just how I feel about it, but yeah, but um, definitely in this game, you know, when it comes to the controls and everything, the controls are, are pretty pretty easy to handle. Um, the one gripe that I have is uh, about how you throw a grenade. Like in Black Ops, you would throw a grenade, I think, by hitting the RB button or whatever, the, uh, the right bumper button or the left. I don't know. I, I don't have the control in front of me at the moment. As you can see, I'm doing absolutely wonderful with two kills and five deaths. Only Blade has four kills and five deaths, but he's only using the melee attack. So there you go. But um, the controls, like I said, are, are generally pretty easy to use and everything. But like I said, my gripe is to use the grenade, which I didn't know until my friend Home Fry the Gangster um, told me that you have to hit triangle twice to bring up the grenade. And, and I feel like, I don't know, maybe over time, 
it would be pretty awesome to do that because you know you kind of get down with the controls. But I don't. I just feel like it's ex it's an extra step just to throw a frag grenade. I don't know. Maybe that's just me. May again, that's me just comparing to Call of Duty Black Ops. So you know, I guess my question to you guys today would be, um, you know, have you played Crisis Two and? And how do you feel, like, how do you compare games like Call of Duty, you know what I mean, to to other games? You know, like, is Call of Duty your preference? Is that what you like to play generally? Or what? I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. Um, so, yeah. Uh, <clears throat> this game is starting to wind down over here. We got about another 2 minutes and 40 seconds left of the gameplay. So... Um, uh, like another thing I wanted to say that I just thought was very cool is I actually live in New York, uh, not in the city. I'm about 40, 45 minutes out of the city. And, um, I gotta say in this game, it's actually pretty scary how, um, how well they actually brought uh, New York City to life as it would be in the future, possibly like, um, there's Grand Central Station, there's Wall Street, um, there's, you know, just, it's just so detailed, you know, like Times Square and whatnot. Like it, it almost feels like you're there, like, especially in the Grand Central, uh, map. I've been in the Grand Central, you know, hundreds of times and, uh, it, it's really scary to see like how well detailed it is. Like, it's like, wow, I've stood there before and now I'm in a video game with a gun shooting, you know, other, other people like this is kind of crazy, you know? Um, but yeah. So, uh, and also, you know, maybe the fact that I haven't played the original crisis game, uh, also might come into play here that, uh, I, I really just don't know the total backstory and I'm, you know, not extremely comfortable with how, how all the settings are on here, but yeah, you know, um, and I don't know how many of you guys, uh, saw my previous video about the new battleground community channel. Um, it's taking a little bit of time to get things up and running with that, but, um, I'm sure within the next, you know, week or two, uh, things will be more underway and we'll have some, uh, some good content for you guys to watch because, you know, I just feel that there's a lot of other, uh, gaming channels out there, uh, not to knock them, you know, but a lot of them are just very unbalanced and, and, and I feel like, uh, you know, uh, a channel needs to come out where there's more content brought to the table, you know, other than just commentaries, you know, I feel like montages and, uh, you know, uh, the new five win five fail thing. Like, you know, it's just, it's more audience based. And, and that's what I feel. I feel like you guys as the viewers shouldn't just have to be viewers. You should be able to submit your own clips and whatnot, you know, so that people can, can see your work, you know? So as this is completely winding down with the remaining 30 seconds or so, uh, I would just like to say thanks a lot for watching. I really appreciate it. Uh, don't forget to comment, uh, rate the video and uh, subscribe if you haven't already. I'd love to have you there. So there you go. Final score was uh, 10 and 8 for Only Use Me Blade. And I went 3 and 9. That's phenomenal. But guys, that's it for me. I'm Pete from Creep the Jeep. Thank you for watching. And you guys have an awesome weekend. Some more commentaries on the way. Later.